his life, I, I realized that he, uh, he had some real struggles with life and so many hard times. And, but he had the most amazing experiences of life. That I look and I go, wow, looking back over that life, what an amazing things that he did and, and that he accomplished. And, um, and, and as I was thinking about that, realized that he was a person who was willing to risk his life for what he believed in. He believed in those freedoms. And he was willing to risk his life and put them on line. And and he, and I think that's amazing that standing up and fighting for what was right and what he believed in uh, is an incredible quality of character that, that I think that I admire so much in him. And, and you know, nobody, nobody nobody can walk into a combat zone, a combat situation, and spend two terms of duty there and walk out with six bronze stars and a Vietnamese Cross of Valor, and several other several other awards that you can ask Paul or John about later. Nobody can do that without one heck of an ordeal to go through. And that is amazing that Brother Richard did that and lived through it and went on after that. So I, I just wanted to say how much I admire a man who stood up for what he believed in and did the right thing, what he thought was right. And, and you know, when he came back, he continued his love for freedom and his fight for freedom, but he, he took it into a courtroom and he trained himself in law and he learned courtroom procedures. And But he went into the courtroom to fight for the freedoms of what he also studied, the U.S. Constitution. And he knew that Constitution better than anybody. And he loved that Constitution. He went into battle in the courtroom to fight for the freedoms of other people that needed help, that were fighting for the freedoms guaranteed in, the, in our Constitution. And I thought that's just part of Richard's character. It also spoke to me that, and I believe that it's true, that Richard always had a heart for the underdog. If there was somebody in need in some way that he could help, he would find a way to do it. And many of the people in the courtrooms that he went to fight for, he, he did it because they were in need. And, but at the same time as I think about Richard's life and I look back, I know all of you here know, that knew him, he had a hard life. What we would think was some really hard times. He had some difficult challenges. He had some personal limitations like all of us. He had some personal problems like all of us. But he was responsible for his decisions and his consequences oftentimes went and ended up with some difficult times for him. And yet despite those limitations and despite those personal problems like all of us have, he wasn't about to take life sitting down. He seems to be the kind of person who despite those limitations and problems, give them an inch of free will, give them a short span of life and history, and he was gonna take life by the horns, and he was gonna take that free will and that time, and he was gonna stretch that inch of free will into a mile. He was the kind of person who was just gonna go for it. And, and that's Richard, that was just who he was. And, I, and I, it just inspires me and makes me proud when, when I think about he endured hardships. He suffered a lot. He suffered both physical pain and emotional pain. And yet he did. He was willing to stand up and fight for what he believed in. He was willing to help people who were underdogs, who needed help. I, I just think that it, it makes me proud I'm mighty proud of my brother Richard. I'm mighty proud to be able to be a part of his 
the history of his family heritage in this time in history. And and I think that, you know, a lot a lot of times in life we want to take it easy and we want an easy road and an easy path. And we value, you know, having a lot of money or having a lot of success. And, and now I don't think those things are that important. I think what's more important is what do you do with what's given to you? And when I think about Richard and what he did with what he was given and the limitations he faced and the struggles he faced, when I think about that, I think, wow, what an incredible life. What an amazing story this brother had. And I'm just mighty proud to be his brother and to be a part of his family life and, and recognizing him.